I am going to talk about the effects of oil spills on aquatic plants and environment and possible remedies. Oil spills can cause severe and damaging effects to our environment, resulting in a detrimental impact on our ecosystems. First of all, let's understand what could be the cause of such oil spills and why should we be concerned. Oil spills can occur during the transportation on oil by the oil tankers. Major oil spills occur due to human activities when petroleum products are used on land and the oil gets washed into water bodies. Oil also seeps into the ocean during drilling activities. There are three main factors that affect oil spills. Specific gravity, surface tension, and viscosity. Specific gravity is since oil is lighter than water, it forms a layer on top of the water. Surface tension. The higher the surface tension, the more likely the oil will remain in place. Viscosity. Higher the viscosity of oil, greater the tendency to remain in place. Why should we be concerned about these oil spills? Oil spills can cause serious harm to physical environment and lead to damage other species further up in the chain. As you can see how over time oil spill has increasingly damaged mammal life. In the recent years, much is being talked about the oil spills and environmentalists are raising concerns about these issues. Devastation caused by these spills can be learned from the recent spill in the Gulf by BP. In the BP oil spill, more than 200 million gallons of crude oil was pumped into the Gulf of Mexico for a total of 87 days, making it the biggest oil spill in U.S. history. This oil spill affected the coasts of Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. Even though the gushing well was capped in July of 2010, oil is still washing up on shores, which might cause long-term damages to people living in the area. The initial oil rig explosion killed 11 people and injured 17 others. Over 8,000 animals, birds, turtles, and mammals were reported dead just six months after the spill. BP was responsible for $40 billion in fines, cleanup costs, and settlements as a result of the oil spill in 2010, with an additional $16 billion due to the Clean Water Act. So what caused this spill and could it have been avoided? Let us try to find out the answer. According to the reports in New York Times, the main cause of this devastating spill was poor risk management, last minute changes, and negligence towards critical construction methods. There were federal regulation violations that required BP and its contractors to take safety measures and they failed to do so. Now what can we learn from this? Instead of playing a blame game, we must not compromise on quality and construction of these oil platforms. Companies must comply by environmental and federal regulations. I conducted an experiment to show how aquatic and marine life can get impacted by such horrible spills and human negligence. In my experiment, I used a hydrilla plant and I observed the amount of oxygen collected in the test tube with oil and without oil. As you can see, when there was no oil, the level of oxygen kept on increasing, suggesting that the hydrilla plant was breathing. Now when I put motor oil in the water, it covered the surface of water, making it hard for the plant to breathe. Thus, the oxygen level in the test tube did not change much. I also want to mention, oil is a major fossil fuel that we use, and drilling oil is important. However, it is our responsibility to take care of our planet, and it is our job to comply with climate control and regulations. As a future generation, we can learn from these detrimental environmental effects and help bring awareness to have tougher regulations and use more renewable sources of energy. Thanks for watching this video presentation. Credits by Shauna Kanju.